Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. That's also the name of my website if you'd like to purchase some or all of the supplies. And my book is available on Amazon. And I have a Facebook page if you go over to Upcycle with Decoupage on Facebook and click like and follow. You'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And here's what we'll be working on for today. So these started out as those plain wooden bangle bracelets that you can decorate. And I wanted to show you a couple of different ways you can do this because this one's wrapping paper and this next one is made with napkins, of course. And the one right after it is also made with napkins. And this one is made using tissue paper. And here's the first thing we'll want to do to get these started. If you're using tissue paper or rice paper or napkins, which I suggest you do if this is your first time doing this, as opposed to using wrapping paper, you're going to want to paint the inside and the outside of your bracelet and put it aside to dry. Now these bracelets tend to mostly measure about the same size. I wanted to wrap the napkin around the bracelet. So what I did was I measured the width on the outside and the inside, and then I just cut that amount that I needed from the napkin. I'm just using this to make a straight line. I should have used a ruler, I know. <laughs> And then I cut off what I needed. So it's almost like you just want to make sure you have enough to wrap the whole bracelet, just like it was a gift. Now I'm cutting strips and you want to keep these strips in order, but you also want to make them a lot thinner than this. You want to go at least half as thin as I cut here. And I'll show you why, because as you wrap them, you can get a lot of wrinkles in them if you don't cut them thinner. So you want to keep saran wrap handy. Place some decoupage glue on the outside and the inside. Take your napkin. And by the way, I did separate these napkins. So this is just the one ply on the top. And I'm doing this cutting here because this napkin was cut too wide. I cut it too wide. But you still want to follow these steps. Place the napkin down. Place your saran wrap over it. and just press everything down. Now you want to match up your napkin, but first I'm going to cut these a lot smaller. So I learned the hard way. And again, just place decoupage glue down on the outside and just work in small sections here. And once you place the decoupage glue down, match your napkin up so that the, the, the design stays consistent. Place the saran wrap around it, get any wrinkles out, and just repeat this process. Go all around the bracelet and do the same step, matching up the panels. Now I am using Mod Podge and Mod Podge can go in the oven. And the reason why I put these in the oven is because A, it dries that much faster but also because the oven seems to melt everything into place. It removes a lot more wrinkles. It looks much smoother. And I set the oven to 170 degrees. I put this in a cold oven, set it to 170. And when it reaches 170, I turn the oven off and I leave this in there to cool off. And I'm holding this with a piece of saran wrap because I'm covering the inside and the outside with another layer of Mod Podge. You don't have to put this second coat in the oven, only the very first time. But for this second coat, you can just let this part air dry. This is all dry and I wanted to use a top coat called Triple Thick. You you should not use a sponge brush with the triple thick. The people that have the biggest problems with it are having the problems because they're using this sponge brush. So use a bristle brush like this if you want to use this. And it's a very high gloss. And while the top coat is wet, 
I put the edges in some glitter like this, just moved it around. Now I wanted to show you how I used tissue paper and that just said Blackberry Designs. That's where I got this very nice tissue paper. The steps are a little bit different because the tissue paper is a bit more on the firm side and I didn't wrap the tissue paper completely around because it didn't fit and here's what I'll show you what you can do when your paper doesn't fit the whole piece so I put the tissue paper down now you don't need saran wrap with this but I found that when you dip the paper in water and then blot it on a cloth and then place it down it was a lot easier to work with this way and you can add the coat of decoupage glue right over the piece that you just worked on. So I'm just going to go around the rest of this bracelet and finish it the same way that I did the other one and put it aside to dry. Once it was dry, I added one more coat of Mod Podge, let it dry, and then I also put the top coat. And the top coat was the triple thick again. And just one more example, I'm using wrapping paper here and again I'm cutting it to fit the size of the napkin and I just want to show you these three different examples. And on this one what I did was followed all the same steps. I did not go in the exact order with this particular pattern but I still wanted to show you that with this I added the decoupage glue, dipped it in water, blotted it, put it over and now you see that I'm not wrapping the ends around I'm going to leave those there and I'm going to go around the whole piece and finish this the same way but then as it was wet I took a nail file and went and filed all of those edges away now this has dried and I don't like that I can see so many lines there's bumps there's wrinkles you see all of that I'm going to fix that because I'm going to use the top coat triple thick and while the triple thick is wet I mean as soon as I put it on I'm going to use matching colored glitters you see there's a lot of purples greens blues and I'm going to put those all over the bracelet and let them all dry together now while this was drying I went back to the other bracelet that had the maps on it and I cut out a piece of fleece or felt and just glued it on the inside and Mod Podge works just fine for this also and that is to cover up any excess paper and it also feels really nice against your wrist <laughs> so those are our bangled or decoupaged bangle bracelets and that's our project for this week this is the one with the wrapping paper on it I could have done a better job filing there and I just wanted you to see all of the different options and I hope this video wasn't too confusing that's another napkin in the meantime thank you so much for subscribing and your lovely comments and i put out a new video each week so if you like my page upcycle with decoupage on facebook and click follow you'll be notified every week when i put out a brand new video and in the meantime ask me any questions that you would like i'm all too happy to help and i will see you guys next week with another video thanks again bye bye <laughs>